morning. My gosh, it is cruise day. Oh, well, welcome to Jeffrey's Adventures. Hey, if you haven't caught my episode to get me here, catch that was one just before this. And now it's cruise day. I can't believe this. The stay at this hotel was wonderful. And I love the convenience of everything. It was super easy to get to and wow, great job. So I'm staying at the Hyatt Sint Syntax, yeah, Hyatt Syntax, and I'm enjoying every moment. I'm going to go find some coffee. It's coffee time. Yes, it is. All right, we'll see you guys in a minute. Of the princess medallion that came in the mail before I took off, which was kind of cool because um, you don't have to wait for your key card or anything when you get on a princess ship. You just wear your medallion everywhere you go, which to me is super cool. So let's see if I can do this with one hand. All right, there we go. So it comes, there's my medallion. All right, it's kind of cool, huh? And it has my name on it. I don't know if you can see that or not, but that's kind of neat how they really go to the attention to detail with all the date and everything that's on there. So this is like uh, the one I used to have, which was platinum, and now I'm elite, which is kind of cool, huh? So how um, I'm gonna have to get one of the cards that changed that to black. If I want it to match, because I'm no longer platinum. Anyway, so that's that's what the uh, whole setup looks like, and uh, I just want to show it off, of course. Right after breakfast, I decided to take the ferry from Pier 11 in Wall Street. It went to Red Hook, which is where the pier is, where the ships dock. Made it a very easy transition to get there. No traffic, no hassles. All right, guys, just made it into the Priority Lounge, and it's a little small for as many people I would think it would have priority. Anyways, I'm just waiting aboard right now, and on the Enchanted Princess, it's going to be exciting. I can't wait. All right, guys, we'll be back in just a second. As soon as they release us, yeah, that's the deal. See you in a minute. So one thing I will say I like about the Priority Lounge is that they give us a glass of water while we wait. We're going to board here in probably about another 45 minutes to an hour. So it's kind of convenient to have that luxury. Being in the uh, elite um, status, this is nice because you get a break before you get to go on the ship. And you don't have to deal with a tremendous amount of people because it's very small in here. All right, we'll be right back. All right, guys, it's just about boarding time. He just came in to let us know that it's gonna be about 10 minutes time. There he is. Wow, they released us about 10 minutes to 11. I've never been on a ship this early. How cool. This process was super easy. I think we just went out one door, went up the elevator, and we are boarding already. Way to go. I love it. If you didn't know, this is my absolute favorite part of a ship. That smell. <laughs> I've always, I tell you all that every single cruise. But yeah, we're, so we're like the fifth on the ship. <laughs> Looks like we're having a little pile up here to get on. That's okay. Not bad. What a gorgeous ship she is. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. This is super cool. 
Alright guys, we are on board and ready to go. I cannot wait. Yes. Alright guys, I just made it aboard. I'm in my room and I just dropped my luggage off because that's all you can do until the rooms are ready. And I'm going to go get something to eat. I'll be right back. I'll see you in a minute. The selections were unbelievable. I couldn't choose. And man, did the food not disappoint. It was so amazing. So hot, so fresh, and so delicious. Alright guys, so I just decided to have some lunch and this is what I grabbed off the buffet. It looks like some jasmine rice, a little bit of mashed potatoes. It looks like maybe it's, um, oh I'm not sure, I'll, I'll come back on that, but a quiche, some pork with a little bit of uh, mushroom gravy, and then this is uh, white fish, and then an eggplant. Oh my goodness, I think I started my day out just right. All right, I'll come back and see you. For those of you that have a sweet tooth, there's plenty to choose from as well. All right, guys, just had some lunch. I'm just checking out, see what the crowd looks like. Looks like the buses are starting to drop off everybody. Yeah, pretty cool. It started to rain a little bit, unfortunately. But uh, yeah, let's go take a look around. As I mentioned before, it was raining a few minutes ago, so the patio is a a wet, soggy spot. But uh, yeah, some some similarities to the Majestic and the Regal Princess. It looks like they took away the water feature that was in here. But uh, yeah, it looks pretty cool. I'm gonna do some more exploring here. Uh, they, this area over here on the Majestic Princess was the bar and on the so they moved the bar over here on this side which is to me i think that's actually kind of useful it does look like they put two sitting areas where those bars used to be so uh yeah bar's not open yet probably opens around noon it is still only 11 30. so i didn't bring my uh sunglasses up here because it was raining earlier it's super bright all on this white area here. <laughs> Pretty cool. So, so far so good. Great experience. I, I kind of understand why they got rid of the water feature being on those ships because when you're on those ships, they're not used. So they put in these sitting areas here, right here, which actually, I think that's a great, great thing for space. Pretty cool. All right, guys, more sites coming your way. Oh, look at this. Uh, they have more hot tubs, I see. So there's two hot tubs on this side. It looks like one in the middle over there where that sitting area is. So that's pretty cool. And these pools are huge. I do like the pool sizes. That's pretty cool. Right on. I love the fact that you can just take a towel. That's one thing I love about princesses. They just trust you. All right, let's go up one more deck and see if we can find the Statue of Liberty because I see it right over there. Let's see what's going on. I'll take you up, let's see. Ooh, beautiful staircase. Oh, look at there's Manhattan straight ahead. Look at that. That's where we came from this morning. I'll show you where the ferry that took us over here took us from there straight ahead. You see, there's a the ferry I took over. And there's a the Brooklyn Bridge right there. And there's the financial district of New York, which is known as Manhattan as well. Oh, super cool. I wish it was a clear day, but I'll take this any day, any ship, any weather. <laughs> All right, guys, so check it out. I see the Statue of Liberty. I know it's a little far out there, but I see it from here and that. 
And that to me is what makes this cruise so special when you leave this port. It's just, it's just the history behind it. And then the Manhattan is right across the way there too. How cool, huh? I hope you're enjoying this so far. Check out the size of that screen, huh? Wow, and the sound, I'm sure it does no justice on your end, but it's just spectacular. How cool. Ooh, I love the flags of the nautical flags. They all have a meaning. Have you ever checked it out? Oh, wow. How cool is that? I gotta get one of those books. Wow, another hot tub. Wow, this I one thing I am enjoying is that the that private areas. So like right now this is a real quiet spot and we're not far from where all the action is. So the sound doesn't carry over these barriers here as you see. It gives you some peace and tranquility. I love it. And we're only halfway across the ship. All right guys, I'm going to head back some more. Now there's just no way I could show off Princess without the Princess emblem. This brings me back to my childhood when Princess the Love Boat was on TV when I was a kid. I remember that. Do you? Well, get your workout on. Look at the size of this gym. I want to say this is probably the biggest gym I've seen on any cruise ship with all these. Oh my gosh, look at all the treadmills. Wow. That's a lot. That's, that's thinking. That's just spectacular. What a great job. All the latest technology. Check this out. How cool. <laughs> wow. What a gym. I want a weight room over here for free weights. Dang. All right. Man, oh, look at, they have one of the ropes. <laughs> rowing machines what a gem I tell you great job all right guys check out this technology you know all you have to do is it shows you where you are right here and then if you want to get to a location you can select it and get what the name of it is and how to get there it's pretty good and the, the screen's giving this a little trouble, but you get the point, right? And if you just push this little button right here, it says, get me there. It will take you from here and get you to your destination. That's pretty cool. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna go inside here, but this is where the kids camps are. How cool, huh? All the kids play in there. All right, guys, so far the ship looks beautiful. I really enjoy what I'm seeing so far, and I can't wait to experience everything on this ship this week. Oh, man. <laughs> All right, I got to go find my mustard drill and figure this out and see what's going to happen. Uh, man, I can't believe how fast this has been. It's only uh, quartered at 12. <laughs> Oh, here's a restroom. Might as well go out of here. All right, see you in a minute. All right, guys, so I'm having a little trouble getting my Wi-Fi, so I'm going to go check that out down in the piazza and find out what's going on. Well, of course, I'll bring you. i got to show you. Okay, we're heading back to the lounge is where I need to go. H, I'm at E, so i got a little bit of ways to go. I just went by one of the lounges that they converted it. It's called Princess Live, and they completely made it different on this ship. It's really cool. I'll show it to you right here. All right, so the party is starting. Look at the activities in the piazza right now. Looking good. The one thing I do see missing is the welcome aboard flags. I really like that. That makes you feel they're supposed to be hanging right here. They're missing. All right, guys, I found all the stores. This has all the princess goodies. Oh, look at that. I think I'm one of the enchanted ships in apparel. Very nice. That's pretty cool. I see a lot of women's wear. Hopefully there's some men's wear in there. All right, guys. So I'm gonna go see if my luggage is at my room. I am setting my whole trip up before I go out and have all the fun. Oh, wow, I like the peaceful, like, spa music they put down in the hallways. 
It's not necessarily elevator music, but it's relaxing. How oh, cool. Okay, so I'm down this little hallway here. It makes it a little wider because I have the extended room or the balcony room with the extension. And there I am. All my luggage is here. And look, it even sees me. Check it out. All right, this is my little version of room tour. So I've got a nice little bar area. And what I really like is the couch I get in my room. Now, this is an extended balcony, and I'll show you what that looks like in just a moment. And look at, they added the USB on the ends of each lamp on both sides of the bed. Now, this room is a extended balcony. I wanna also say a deluxe balcony. That's correct. So this is the category deluxe. I like the decor. It is very nice. It's soft. And there you go. Yeah, look at that big screen TV. The thermostat's on nice and low, as you can see right here. And then we have a full frame mirror right here. And then our entryway. And over here, we have our huge walk-in closet which to me princess does the best because it's a walk-in closet and it really reminds me of privacy when you have other guests that maybe do, don't necessarily um, know each other like personally so therefore being able to have a little changing area is pretty convenient and then for the restroom standard size it's very nice, spacious, as far as I'm concerned. The shower's a little larger than normal because you have the, the uh, step stool there also. Um, it is a little taller, especially for my size. And then you have plenty of shelving and then shelving down below as well. I like that. Very nice. Inside the closet here has a ton of shelving as well, along with the safe. Uh, I think it's more than adequate for yeah, at least four people. I wouldn't put four people in here unless, you know, there was children and adults. And out here is the balcony. Now this is the extended balcony, so I get a little bit bigger with the... Uh, nice big huge you could almost dance on uh area here now let's see if we can open that up now so it, it has rained but i'll kind of show you what it looks like that's major major three times deeper normally you only get the one right there the one little bracket not this middle one but the one for a regular balcony on other cruise ships so to be in this big, huge thing, wow. Let's go see if we can get out here and see Manhattan. Oh, look at this. What a view from my room. Now, I am offset so people above me can see. But if you see up there, their balconies are much smaller. Uh, for me, I think it's worth this nice. And now below is where they keep all the lifeboats. As you can see here, all the lifeboats are right down there. And then if you look behind now, I'm not too far off the aft. And there's Manhattan it's starting a little break in the sun. That's kind of nice. And over here on the left, you can see uh, right out here is where the Statue of Liberty is. That's kind of cool, huh? All right, guys. I'm going to take this opportunity to go get my packing done unpacking did i say packing oh bad words for the first day all right we'll be back we'll be back all right guys i came back because i wanted to point out a couple things number one is this telephone it's half the size of the, the traditional phone and in my opinion <laughs> how when's the last time you used a phone maybe to call room service and that's about it you know that's pretty clever i like that a lot and also I like how they laid everything out for me. 
knowing that I had my status, my elite status gave me all the instructions for elite for the week, all my uh, excursions, and also my my princess, my my patter, the one that is the most important, has all the activities in it ready to go for the week. Uh, or for the day, excuse me, and then I'll get another one tomorrow. I didn't even have to ask. And uh, I did want to point out that I do have a one-time stocked bar as part of the Elite package as well. Um, I'm not sure if they'll swap out those drinks or not, or if they are additional charge. I will get to the bottom of that. And there's the hair dryer. <laughs> All right. So far, so good. My luggage is here. I might as well get packed unpacked i did that again might as well get unpacked while i'm here and yeah cool stuff guys so far so good see you in a bit all right guys so i'm all freshened up i got my i got all my uh hooks on the wall you see my hats over there i got the hooks over here uh has my planners on it and i've got my desk organized the way i like it all my clothes is put away and so i'm gonna head over to yeah it's crooner's bar where we're meeting all i think close to 100 people so we'll see how that fits all right we'll be back bye bye all right, guys, so my uh, cabin steward just introduced himself. Very nice guy. So he explained to me the whole setup is complimentary for your elite status, including uh, the sodas. And if you want juice or anything like that, go ahead and make it. I forgot to ask for ice, <laughs> but I'll get some later. All right, that's it. On my way out. See you in a bit. guys so we're sailing away what an amazing day I had the best adventure ever and look at this guy he's swimming there was no pool party or any celebration on deck tonight I was actually kind of surprised a very chill evening sail away from New York although it did rain pretty hard earlier as you can see the water trails of the footsteps over here I wish it was something easy but the wind is very 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 rough especially along the rails of the ship and over there on the right is Manhattan what a great day what a great cruise absolutely love princess all right guys we'll see you guys in the room all right guys so we just made it back to the room and i have to say unfortunately all they did is blow the horns because um what happened was is there was a huge rainstorm here take a look yeah and and because of that they had to cancel the sail away party and and we started sailing about 25 30 minutes ago and i'm seeing everything right out my room right here right now and oh, i'm kind of bummed so but that's what's going to happen on a cruise you have to understand this is a vessel you're going to a destination and that's what happened so anyway Oh, so dinner. I'm going to go probably going to have some sushi tonight uh, because it's on my plan and I can have any of the specialty dining restaurants all throughout the week at no additional charge. So I'm going to take advantage of that and enjoy. So um, once I figure it out, I'll bring you guys along. Thank you for watching. See you in a minute. How cool is this? I wish it wasn't an overcast. Unfortunately, we had nothing but terrible weather when we sailed away. It was raining so hard. I, I did insert that. But if you look straight ahead, there is the Carnival Valencia. I'll put a link down below of the ship that we were on last May with Mom and Cheryl. How fun was that? It's straight ahead right there. How cool. Yeah. Oh, all right, guys. So I made it to the sushi bar. 
And I am excited because I just wanted a small appetizer before I went to dinner. And uh, so I have another hour. I'm just going to do a small roll just to get a sample of all the food they have available on this ship. Now, if you do the Premier Plus program, you get to go to all these venues at no additional charge. And that's what's super cool about coming here to just have an appetizer, right? All right, we'll see you guys as soon as the food gets here. Enjoy. Okay, everybody. This is called the spicy tuna roll. How cool. What a great appetizer, yeah? All right, guys. So here we are getting ready for dinner. Look at the beautiful views of the atrium. Oh my gosh, they're playing my song. <laughs> How cool. All right guys, so I finally made it to dinner and it is Crown Grill night. So it's one of my Every night I can go to a specialty dining restaurant and I chose the Crown Grill tonight because I was also invited to go on another day. So I'm just going to try out all the yummies and here's the menu. I can't wait to share. Of course, I finished the evening with a beautiful nightcap beverage and headed over to watch some karaoke before I turned in for the evening. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Please like and subscribe if you'd like to see more. Thank you for watching. Wonderful.